Hi Go Go Mag, I'm Gabrielle, aka DJ Spooky Boots from the Shallow Graves and Airwave show on Titan Radio. My show started um, by me just saying that we even had a radio station um, at school, which is Cal State Fullerton, and it really piqued my interest because I'm a huge music lover and I thought, why not share that with the world? So finally I decided to apply for it and I ended up getting it and now it's a really big passion of mine. My DJ name actually came from the person I was dating at the time. So we were hanging out and I got super excited that we were, or that I was accepted into the DJ program and I could not think of a name for the life of me and he actually came up with it for me. So kudos to him for that. If I wasn't doing this, um, I think that right now I'd be focusing a lot more on learning how to play the bass, which is something that I picked up last year, or focusing on other hobbies like roller skating or even cosplaying. Even though conventions aren't really a thing right now, I think you know it's something that I'd want to improve on, or just craft making in general. I think prop making is something that interests me as well, oddly enough, even though I haven't really done anything like that, so that's probably something I'd tap into as well. My best advice for somebody who wants to get started is to just do it. For this, for me, I know that it was something that I was interested in since I first started at Fullerton, but then once I kind of got over the hurdle of how do I even start? And I just went for it and I just applied on literally the last day to apply. I And I got in, it was like, wait, I can do this. So my best advice is definitely to just, even if you're scared, just go for it. There have definitely been a lot of challenges with the show. For one thing, I I'm really sad that it's not live. I wish I could be there in the studio performing, or not performing, but putting on the show. Um, that would be really cool for many different reasons, and along with being able to take, like, I, I always say I would love to have callers live on the show to either talk to or recommend songs or suggest songs, um, but unfortunately I can't do that with a pre-made program. Um, in addition to that, it's kind of been really difficult to make it sometimes with my school and work schedule, but I always know that I want to make time for it as much as possible just because it is pretty near and dear to my heart. And other than that, sometimes even just finding the right songs or really kind of honestly narrowing down the songs has been really hard for me. I always start off with a really big chunk of songs for a theme and then I have to narrow it down to less than an hour's time. So that's been pretty difficult for me. I definitely have a few people that I would love to have on the show. First and foremost will always in my heart be Alex Turner from Arctic Monkeys and the Last Shadow Puppets. Um, aside from being my birthday twin, which I'm very always happy about, um, I would love to talk his head off about music. And other than him being obvious for me personally, I would love to have the director Edgar Wright on my show. Uh, he's always posting his like top 50 of the year or anything like that and um, I noticed that we have a lot of really similar interests and tastes in musically and aside from movies I think that he would be really fun to have on and I think we'd probably have a really fun conversation um, about music and film which is near and dear to my heart and then I feel like one other person I would love to have on my show would be Eartha Kitt. I think she's phenomenal. I just purchased a record of hers today and I think she's just such an iconic person and has lived through so much adversity in her life but while still being such a phenomenal icon that I would just, I would love to have her on. I think what I want to get out of it the most is, well for one thing, just the opportunity to do it has led me to be different people throughout Titan Radio and it's allowed me to explore new genres of music so I hope to just kind of keep that love up and keep listening to new music but other than that I think that it's kind of helped me open up to especially talking to more people this semester I've started doing interviews with my show so I think being able to connect with these musicians or people who work in the industry um, can maybe 
hopefully create connections with people either in that industry or the film industry definitely interests me and you know everybody's kind of connected so I'm kind of hoping that it'll kind of help me prove myself to be somebody that can work with a lot of different people um, and to be able to launch my career in some sort of public relations or something which is my major through either music or film. If I had an album to recommend to anyone it would definitely be this one. Um, it gets in, I don't know if it's Gilberto or Gilberto. Um, this is the album that features um, uh, Astrid Gilberto on uh, The Girl from Ipanema, which is one of my favorite songs of all time. But this album in general is just really, it's such a phenomenal jazz record in Bossa Nova that um, I can listen to it all day, every day, and it's very relaxing, and I think everybody needs this in their lives. My favorite album cover is Push Push by Herbie Mann. I think this is like one of the funniest album covers of all time and you kind of really just can't go wrong with it. I mean, it's very erotic. It's great. I love it. An album that's really dear to my heart is this album from The Rolling Stones. Um, it has one of my, again, absolute favorite songs on it, which is She's a Rainbow. Um, this is actually an original pressing of it with the little like hologram on it. I don't know if you can see that, but I think this is an album that I can listen to all day, every day, and yeah, it's just that song in particular, it's kind of my anthem. I just want to say um, to definitely, if not check out my show, check out other people's shows on Tate and Radio. Some people have some great programming from podcast type interview talk shows, um, from like minority voices to hilarious talk show and radio shows, people play their own music, so definitely check out other people, check out your local artists, and just promote your friends. <laughs> you can find me at uh, Titan Radio's uh, website on Saturday nights at 9 p.m. Pacific time. It's titanradio.org slash live. Saturdays at 9 p.m. you'll hear the Shallow Graves and Airwave show. Otherwise, you can find me at spacegirl underscore crop top on Instagram or you can find my past shows on mixcloud.com slash DJ Spooky Boots.